Uh, good day everybody and uh, welcome to my channel where we make structural engineering design simpler. My name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm your host. I just want to take this time to appreciate everyone that has subscribed to our channel and those who are yet to subscribe I will encourage you to click the subscribe button or click the like button so that when videos like this comes up you get notified quickly quickly so i want to say thank you once again for everyone that have sent in their questions their comments and every encouraging word i want to say i appreciate it please keep it coming and uh, we got a question from Shaid, um, Rabiu Shaidu. Rabiu Shaidu. And the question is, he did the design and he said, two of my column fade. How do I correct it? Two of my columns failed. How do I correct it? Rabiu Shaidu, thank you for that your question. I will use this video to explain what to do when your columns fail. What to do when your columns fail. Thank you very much. So we'll go right in into our Prota Structure program. We've already explained from beginning to this part. So if you you've not seen our previous video, please go back and look at our videos. They are very, very explanatory and very understandable. And if you still don't, if you have an issue or you don't understand a part, please feel free, put down your comments whenever we are chance we will respond to every of your comments that is what i can assure you of whatever is a comment please put it down we will answer you thank you so go back to our former our previous videos look at them go through them it's detailed and very explanatory so we'll not start from the beginning but we'll just get to this part where I will explain what to do when your columns failed. What to do when your columns failed. So Rabi will do this. Just go through the video um, until you got you get to this point. After you've modeled your structure, you've modeled your structure up to this part. The next thing you need to do. After you modeled your structure, you go to building, which we've done before, but I'm just only explaining it now. I've done that. You click load combination. You do your load combination. You say, okay. Then if you've done all that, you come to analysis again, load the composition. If you've not done the analysis, this part will be showing an X mark instead of a good mark. But if it's showing an X mark, it means you've not analyzed your structure. But if you've not analyzed your structure, just click bash FE chase down and it will analyze your structure. You said okay. It will analyze your structure. You say okay. But all this I've done, it will run through. But if you've done it, you just bypass this part. But if not, after modeling, you need to do your analysis, which is what we are doing now. Okay, we say okay, you click okay, you close, you say apply to all beam. Yeah, continue. So we've done our analysis. We've done our analysis. Next, you go to analysis, click on building analysis. All these things have been explained in our previous video. So if you've not if you've not seen it, please go back to our previous video. Go through them. It is very explanatory. And if you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. So that when videos like this comes up, you will benefit from it. So after you've clicked it, click edit 
material this is the concrete column this is the the concrete strength the steel grid and this is the steel diameter this is concrete wall the the longitudinal web bars the horizontal web bars this is your concrete beam this is slab rib link why this is if you are doing steel work so the columns here two things you click here and what i normally use for my column check the previous video it explains it is y16 i take this y20 i take this y25 i take this then i say okay i come to beam similar thing y16 tick y20 tick y25 tick i said okay so for slab i use only y12 and i say okay for the links i use y10 okay so if you've done this you said okay we are we are we are good with this then go to analysis go to analysis since this is giving us the x mark it means we've not done okay sorry go to design we've done analysis but this is how you do your design so if it's showing you x it means we've not done the design so come to column stroke wall reinforcement design you tick it tick beam reinforcement design and you click on start all these things are all explained in the previous video so please i will encourage you to really go back to the videos look at them subscribe and ask any question that you feel you are not clear about subscribe ask and we'll always um, respond to those your questions so we've done the analysis and the design what we do next is to close this part come to concrete design we we'll come here to column section design to see what happened when we click here now this is what right view shaidu is asking about if you look at my my columns they failed like only this pass one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty almost twenty of them failed please pay attention to what i'm about to say now if you miss this then you miss out on the whole issue please pay attention very very important your column phase based on two things listen very carefully your columns fails based on two criteria the first is your column phase based on the size of the column if the size of the column is not enough your column would fail very very important very 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 important i can't stress that enough the next thing that makes your columns fail is when the reinforcement is not enough when the reinforcement is not enough maybe you are providing a smaller reinforcement so if this thing fails two things i will look at my column size is 230 by 230 and it's just a single floor or two floors that i'm working on so what i will think about is okay um, for single floor and two floors 230 by 230 size is okay and is economical to design the next thing i will check is my reinforcement my reinforcement may not is not enough then look at this unit um, unity ratio it must be less than one pay attention to this please i can't emphasize this enough your unity ratio must be less than one and looking at this now is 0.39 above it so we can say is a bit above 
the unity um, ratio so how do i do it now my reinforcement is telling me 4y16 4y16 from this now it shows that y16 4y16 is not sufficient 4y16 is not sufficient so what do we do we double click on this mark double click on it and this way pop this way pop please pay attention you come to this diameter click on it you see a drop bar and remember what we've assigned our column reinforcement when we are doing the design we you click on it you see y16 y20 y25 so let's take y20 take y20 you've changed you've increased the reinforcement from 16 to 20 you say okay voila you see it six it is now less than that but okay let's try this again we change to this you say okay this is how you do it but there is another method this is how you can do it one after the other manually all true all true this is one way of solving the problem okay that's one way you can do it manually so if you have hundred columns that failed you do them one after the other that's a rigorous method why the second method is you click on this column design bash mode and this will pop you click reselect all bars reselect all bars and you say design and see what happens voila it automatically provides the ones that are if you see before they were all y16 but now it has automatically changed some to y20 this is y25 this is y20 y25 16 is still if these are 16 these are 25 25 and um, 25 and stuff like that so two this is the the quicker method of solving a problem then let me just show you something else if you say 16 let's say okay it's it's failed here yeah. we, we we solve the problem by increasing the bar we can also solve the problem by increasing the column size if we double click and we get to this place you say 300 let's say 300 click update very important if you don't click update nothing would happen you say update then we say okay okay let's see you keep that's why i don't like using um increase the the sizes most time i don't like using it most time because it is not all that economical it is not all that economical mm -hmm. it is not that economical so another thing is if you if you increase if you increase the if you increase the size if you increase the size you need to increase the bar because the code says you must have you can't leave it you must create a, a you must break it so that it will not be too too weak so although it's less if you see it it's less than than that so that is what you do so majorly majorly that is what you okay that's one way of solving it either you use the you increase but advisably what i would advise is that we increase the reinforcement first before we alter the size of our column so if we are altering the size of our column you click update then come to interactive design click on interactive design you say okay 
when you click on interactive design it automatically does the the increase and everything but what i will do is i would advise that we stick to the reinforcement first increasing the reinforcements before altering the size of our column so um rabu shaidu i hope this explained what you are going to try it if you still have any issue about your design please get back to me by your comments but if it's solved it please comment that yes it's solved it so that other people can benefit so once again i will encourage those who are yet to subscribe to our channel to please do that so that they can benefit and uh, we've come to the end of this if you have any other question about the design or any of our videos that that you are not too clear of please feel free to comment down on the comment section thank you so we we'll see you again god bless you bye